everybody welcome to so you want to be a vet this is a short YouTube series that I'm gonna be doing with Aaron um, we are two veterinary medicine students and we are um, medic mentor scholars uh, if you want to know a bit more about medic mentor and what they do uh, I'll leave uh, some information at the end of the video but today we are gonna be talking about how to write a successful CV so why do you need a CV a CV is really important because it's basically a comprehensive record of your professional activities, um, your history, and it also includes your academic credentials, um, but it's sort of just a big script that basically represents you to um, employers and also to admission staff, which is uh, the case, especially for a veterinary medicine CV. So, before we get into all the nitty gritty, I think it's really important for us to go through the structure a little bit so everyone's clear. So I think a good way to start any CV is just with your basic information. So your name, your address, your number, and your email address. And those should be at the top. And you can include a picture if you want, but it's becoming less popular to do so nowadays. Um, and underneath that, I would go on to a short bio, which I will go into a little bit more in detail later. Uh, and it only needs to be a few sentences, uh, it doesn't need to be long at all, it's just to give them like a little taste, like a little introduction to who you are and what you're about. Then it's really important to move on to work experience, uh, which should kind of be the bulk of your CV. It's really important to have it broken down really clearly into clear, concise sections so that they have a clear understanding of what everything that you've done is. In your work experience, it's really important to have dates um, and a location if possible, but that's not always necessary. Um, but it's really important to at least add one sentence to each work experience uh, to highlight a little bit about the position so that they have a little bit more of an idea of what it was about. Then I would go on to education, which is also really important, especially if you're, it's your first time applying to something. So with your education, you just want to list uh, in reverse chronological order your schools that you've been to. So that would be college at the top. And if you've done a, a previous degree, that's also a really good idea to include it uh, above that. Uh, your schools that you've been to. And uh, below that, I would also include any kind of courses that you've done, any special interest courses that would also be really good to include, as well as the languages you speak, which is always a bonus. It's also an option to include a key skills and achievement section in your CV, which is just a little sort of like quick fire few things that you can just highlight about yourself um, without putting it in the long chunky paragraph. And this is really helpful because it also allows to keep your CV a little bit shorter, which is also really helpful. I think especially for admissions officers or people looking at a lot of CVs, it's always better if they have you know, one short one that's nice and concise and well organized than having one which is like three pages long with a lot of wording, a lot of paragraphs, um, which is just gonna take them longer to read. And so if yours is short, concise, and pops out, then they're really gonna appreciate that and it'll really stand out. If you are writing your first CV, it can always be quite difficult to know where to start and what to write first. Um, my top tips for that are to just get started with it and uh, there's an application called Novo Resume, which is like got a little owl emoji on it. And that one's really useful because it gives you really clear, um, really concise uh, templates for CVs um, and other sort of uh, documentation that you can just fill out with the information and they look really clean. You can choose different sort of styles of templates and they can really stand out and make your uh, CV look professional. Writing a CV is something you will need throughout your veterinary career. You need it to apply for internships, externships, your first jobs. And a lot of the times EMS opportunities and work experience opportunities will also require you to write a CV. So I think it's a very important skill and the sooner you get to grips with it, the better it'll be. So let's begin. The key to writing a successful CV is that it needs to be short, it needs to be concise, and it needs to be specific. You're trying to hold the attention of the person who is receiving your CV and you're trying to sell yourself and kind of push yourself up and 
even if you have a small experience that might not seem that significant to you, if it's relevant to the work you're doing or what you're applying for, it is extremely important to highlight that in the correct way. So how do you highlight yourself? Well, universities are always interested in diversity and they wanna see what you can bring to the table. What makes you unique and what will make you a really important part of their university and how can they showcase their diversity through you? It's important to not only list your interests, but also highlight how they've impacted your experiences and further development of what interests you and the topics that you really wanna develop in vet school. Using a small bio at the start of a CV is really critical because this allows to summarize yourself and your key interests and ideals in one short paragraph. It's also a fantastic opportunity to show how you stand out from other applicants. Have you done any crazy courses? Have you got a black belt? Even those things that might seem not very relevant to an animal course can always be really important to show that you have discipline and that you have um, the ability to just commit to something, which trust me is really important for vet med. Since you will only be coming out of school usually, it is really, really important to highlight the things that you have done, even if they're small things. So for example, any volunteer or outreach work, any tutoring, any kind of societies or clubs you're part of or anything that you've started really highlights the fact that you're a go-getter, that you're willing to work and that you're interested in getting uh, involved in different things, which is really key for veterinary medicine. If you're applying for veterinary medicine or a related university course, it's really important to highlight the different areas that you've worked in. So if you've done work experience, worked in a stable, it's really important to separate them out, especially by species or by practice. So that would be small animal, farm, equine, poultry, or whatever it is. And it's really important for each section to add some details as to what you learned, what you enjoyed, and what is the key thing that you took away from this placement. Writing your first CV can seem like an extremely daunting task because sometimes it is, especially if you've never written one before and you're not familiar with the format. So I think it's really, really important to get help from your career advisors, online resources, um, as well as your peers. Um, for example, my brother helped me so much to put mine together and it really made me feel comfortable because I had someone who had looked at it, who highlighted some things and who'd given me feedback. And remember, feedback is super important and as well as something that is so important in veterinary medicine that you're gonna have to get used to it. I hope you found this useful. These are just a few tips and tricks and a little summary of things that you need to keep in mind when you're writing a CV. Obviously, it's not an extensive list. Um, there's so many things that could be included, but I think these are really key, specifically for veterinary medicine CVs. Don't forget why you're doing it. Don't forget why you're passionate about it. Just keep that in mind and uh, it'll be great. Don't forget to check out Medic Mentor if you'd like more information about how to get into veterinary dentistry or medicine. They have great resources and a bunch of students really uh, keen to share their experiences with you. I will leave more information up here. And if you enjoyed this video, please tune in next time for uh, Aaron's video on another vet topic. Bye guys.